guys, it's me, I wanna do another non Euclidean geometry video, it's part 2 this time. And this is an updated version of how to do it. So, what you wanna, what you're gonna wanna get first, is any block you like. I'm going to use white concrete and just one block, whatever you like. And now, if you don't want to get confused on what you're doing, then you could pick any other blocks. But I recommend you choose these blocks. So I recommend you choose orange concrete and light blue concrete. So what I have is white concrete, orange concrete, light blue concrete. And that's going to be important. So now let's get on with it. So what you're going to want to do actually, so that it doesn't like say things in your chat like, it would say like, build, and then whatever. It would just say filled, and then whatever in the chat whenever you go through it. So what you're gonna wanna type is this. Slash, slash game rule, space, send, map, feed, back, with no spaces which is send command v buck space and then false false and once you got that ready it should be right by there then you've got to enter it won't say anything in your track so you turn it off and now i'm going to change the command so type game roll again exactly like that with the forward slash and the space and then do this time command no space, lock, output, and then no space, false, and then type it. And then I won't say anything, you try again. So then it won't say like this or anything, it would spam. Anyway, you know, let's get on with it. First, you're gonna wanna do like as many blocks as you want. I'm just gonna do like. like a big line just like that now you're gonna want to do that exactly on the other side and then basically go a box shape also you're gonna also want to get another command block and this, this command block is going to be crucial if you don't have this command block then you're going to need it so slash give and then at and then s and then just type Command underscore block. And once you've typed that, you're gonna want to press enter. Now you have a command block. And it didn't say anything in my chat, which that means it should work. So that's good. Now let's actually get on with it. Like actually get on with it. No commands or anything now, other than inside the command block. So now what you're gonna want to do is inside the square or whatever you made, you probably just follow what I did with the square. You're gonna want to do like a line like this, so it's like a tunnel going through here. And in that tunnel, you're gonna have to find the middle part. If there is no middle part like me, then you're gonna want to expand this building or whatever you're building by one and then you're gonna find the middle. So I've just placed it, so it's one, two, three, and one, two, three, and then this is the middle. When you're in the middle, you're gonna wanna put, you're gonna wanna go left one, or one orange concrete, then you're gonna wanna skip one block and put one light blue concrete. And then you're gonna wanna break through the middle by two blocks down. And you're gonna wanna do exactly what I'm doing, exactly like this. Now you wanna go underneath them. There's two command blocks. You could face them anyway, this one's facing that way, and this one's facing that way. It doesn't it doesn't matter. So you open one of the, you open the one that is underneath the orange block. You open it, put it to repeat, always active, unconditional, previous output. I just put previous output on, you don't need that though. And then Oh, I nearly just started typing then. You're gonna wanna press this plus symbol that I'm highlighting in green. Press on it, and now press on it again. And then you wanna type in slash, execute, 
exactly like this space at p no not at p at a and then a closed square black space in the right and then r equals 0 0.75 and then you're going to want to do another bracket that is facing the left this time it is closed one and then you're going to want to do a space then you're going to want to do a squiggle space squiggle space squiggle now you're going to want to do another space now you're going to also going to want to do fill and then you're going to want to go over to wherever you want it to do it so in in this case i'm going to place a block in the middle over here it's going to change color whenever you go through here so whenever you step on the orange thing it's going to change it to blue because it's blue right now and then whenever you step on the blue one it will turn orange and then and then if you once it's turned orange you walk back through here you press on it it would stay orange so you can't just go like this and then oh it'll change color you just gotta walk around and then it'll change color and then you could just keep doing this the exact same way but it'll be blue and then walk around here and then it'll be orange i hope you, if you don't understand you shouldn't understand you don't have to understand but that you, you could just follow the video so go back in this command block and if it's a uh, one block you're going to want to do fill no, not fill okay so if it's one block like this you're going to want to do separate but if it's two blocks like this then you're going to want to do fill like i typed in that command block so if you're doing one block which in this case i am doing then you're going to want to go in here and then do a space and then do set block which is for one block and then you're going to want to do a space, squiggle, space, squiggle. Actually, no, not space, squiggle, space, squiggle. You're going to want to... If you don't have this thing turned on, you most likely have. You probably don't. You're going to go... You have to press the three lines on your controller. You could be on PS4, you never know. PS5, any PlayStation, you can put my quick on. Settings or Xbox. And then... Oops. And then you've got to go over to... Not video to go over to game and then scroll down in there and press show coordinates on it's facing the right so it's on so if you look at the top left you can see coordinates position and then comma space minus seven five one and as you walk around look it changes so what you're going to want to do is stand on top of the block or things you're going to want to do so once you stand on the block which in this case i'm doing by the way, I'm not going to show the fell thing because that will be a long video. I might do another video for it. So then you step on top of it and then you do. And then if you look at the coordinates, the, your coordinates are going to be different to mine. So if you look at the top left, it's going to show whatever coordinates it is. So whatever coordinates that shows, which is in this case for me, is minus one space five space one. Don't put those commas there as well. Minus one, five, one type that in space minus one space five space one and notice how I didn't put the commas otherwise it wouldn't work so don't put the commas there or by delete the file then then once you've did that you want to do whatever block it is you want to change it to in this case that's blue so just change it to whatever the ID is that so I'll type it in Concrete free. Now what's concrete free? This is concrete free. Two. I might have put the radius a bit too low. It could have. Yeah, I have put the radius a bit too low. I have to put 1.75. I haven't played Minecraft in quite a long time. Now you try it. Oh, by the way, just saying, you've got to put it one block down. So, I don't want to go back. 
instead of the five. For me, it's five, but for you, it's different. We'll put one down, which would be four. So then, well, that's purple. And now you're gonna wanna change it to the color that it was earlier. So, three, so that's three. And now, what you wanna do with this one is just type the exact same command again, put the repeat and condition always active, previous output, whatever you want. Slash game rule, not slash game rule, I was not mixed up then. Slash execute at a, and then close bracket facing the right, there's a square. R equals 1.75, then close bracket facing the left. And then space squiggle, space squiggle, space squiggle. And then you're gonna want to do a space. You're gonna want to do set block. Or you could be using fill. I'll might do another video on that. Like I said earlier. And you're gonna want to pick the exact same block as it was before. So minus one, five, one. So we do minus one, four, one, which is right underneath it. But these corners are gonna be different. Then you type in concrete, and then you do whatever thing you want. So I'll just do one. And now you place a block right by there and do this. And let's just put a wall right by here. Okay, so now it's orange. We walk around. That's blue. Still blue. Orange. Still orange. And now, since that's working, here's what it looks like behind the scenes. As you walk over the blocks, it changes the colour. Okay, so now when you're done with that, you're just going to want to fill in the floor and add more layers to the top. Probably very boring, anyways filling this in but you're just gonna have to fill it in you just get rid of this grass block just chuck it away the dirt okay now I've did that part now I just got to fill it in Keep filling in the walls it's up to you if you want to roof or not okay now look at this. How cool is that? And that's how you make non-Euclidean geometry in Minecraft Bedrock Edition.